At some point between his adventures in Sands of Time and this sequel, I'm guessing the Prince of Persia began shopping at Hot Topic and hating his parents. That would be the only feasible explanation for this. You bitch! This is Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. And I gotta be honest, an injection of unwarranted teenage angst was the last thing this game needed. Warrior Within is the 2004 follow-up to Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, a game which resurrected the series of computer games known as Prince of Persia. Now, Sands of Time did it with style, too. I mean, how many video games can inspire a Jerry Bruckheimer movie seven years after they're released? So obviously, Sands of Time was a great game, kind of a big deal. And since Warrior Within is cut from virtually the same acrobatic cloth, you'd think it would be a great game too. But unfortunately, Ubisoft's decision to turn the Prince of Persia into a pissed off mallcore kid makes this already less compelling game sour quickly. Rise up, Prince. Let us continue this. Warrior Within picks up the story seven years after the Sands of Time. Because he released those very sands, which are essentially a Middle Eastern flux capacitor, the Prince is now being hunted by the Dahaka, a hideous beast which guards the timeline and destroys those who interfere with it. Those like the Prince of Persia. So the prince decides his last hope is to embark for the island of time, meet the empress of time, go back in time, and stop her from creating the sands of time. After all, if there aren't any sands, he couldn't have opened them in the first place. Maid, if there are no sands, the Dahaka will have no quarrel with me. Sounds like a great idea, right? Yeah, it does. That's because it's back to the future with swords. But there's a problem. This aggro prince isn't nearly as cool as Marty McFly. Uh, he's actually pretty unlikable in Warrior Within. And while it's more interesting and complex than its predecessors, the game's story doesn't paint a very flattering picture of the prince either. This time around, he's not driven by vengeance or to save people. His only concern is his own ass. And since his personality is a bit too tough to swallow, this prince just isn't the kind of character you root for. Now, to be fair, if you can get past the sandpaper personality of the prince and the unnecessary attitude Ubisoft poured over the game, you'll find Warrior Within features the same acrobatic platforming that made Sands of Time so much fun. You guide the prince as he runs across walls, slides down curtains, swings on poles, and when he's not flying around like a pissed off gymnast, he's slicing evil creatures in half. Now, the basic gameplay concepts in Warrior Within are the same as they were in Sands of Time, and it's still a lot of fun to tear through the game's environments like a psychopathic trapeze artist. But despite the similarities, Ubisoft made a few changes to the gameplay as well. Uh, Warrior Within feels much more open than the comparatively linear Sands of Time, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does lead to a lot of backtracking, and since there's no practical map to speak of, it's easy to get lost in Warrior Within. As a result, the game also has a slower pace than its predecessor, and can sometimes feel a tad dull. That said, there are a few scenes in which the Dahaka finds you and gives chase, and they're definitely the game's most exhilarating and intense. The game also adds some challenging boss battles into the mix, so the game's gameplay additions are a mixture of both good and bad. So ultimately, you're left with a good game that might have been great, and perhaps should have been great. But unfortunately, Warrior Within loses a bit of the distinct Arabian Nights mood that made Sands of Time so unique in favor of a much less appealing blend of dime a dozen hard rock riffs and plenty of irritating tough guy-isms. This is certain to come in handy. But again, the game itself is good, 
And if you can get past its forced, unoriginal, and really irritating grimness, you'll still have fun flipping, twisting, and decapitating in Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. 